Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about working with instruments in Studio One. So over here on the rightmost area, you've got your browser. And this is where, of course, we can look at our instruments, uh, effects on the system, any sounds, files related to this project. But today we're going to focus on instruments. So we go back over here. And just take note, on this system, we've got the included PreSonus effects. Those include Impact, Presence, Sample 1, and Mojito. I've also got TuneTrack Easy Drummer and some Native Instruments products on this system. Now, it's really easy to get up and running with it with an effect. All you really have to do is just choose the instrument you like. Maybe drill down to a particular preset and drag and drop. And you can either drag it over this empty area where your audio would typically go or over the track area. And here we have a new track with an impact created. And now at this point, if I want to try a new preset, I'll just click the preset dropdown. As you can see, I can stay in this list and just keep trying different sounds as I'm playing. Notice that the drums are changing behind me to show that the actual set is changing. Now, if you want to get rid of this plugin, just simply click on the Select Device button in the upper left-hand corner. Choose the plugin you wish to remove, and then remove it. Now, maybe at this point, I want to create a bass track, so I'll drill down to where my basses are, then just simply drag and drop, and now I have a bass ready to go. As you can see, it's really simple, it's really easy, one of the great things about Studio One is that it's a great music creation and composition tool, as well as being a full-fledged recording program. Hope you guys understand a little bit more about working with instruments in Studio One. Thanks for stopping by.